Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. In today's video we're going to talk about Scum's macronutrient reserves, how to manage them, what to eat, and what they do. So let's get started. What are Scum's macronutrient reserves? Well, they're protein, carbs, and fat, your calorie sources, and they provide your character with energy. Each of these three burns at a different rate. If you go to check and your menu doesn't work, and you have the supporter pack, simply go into camera mode and then come back and your tooltips will now show. With carbs in your system, protein should burn at about anywhere between 2 to 9 grams an hour depending on your level of vigorous exercise. You need protein to gain strength. If you have 0 grams of protein, you won't be able to gain any strength. Carbs are going to be your fastest burning macronutrient. They can go up to burning 180 grams an hour. But a way to get around losing so many carbs is to drink alcohol. When you have alcohol in your system, your carb consumption won't even be touched at all. So if you want to keep your carbs while you're doing some exercise, take a couple sips of beer, pound a bottle of wine back, have some vodka. It'll help you a lot. Fat stays relatively low at 1-2 to two grams an hour. I've tested this under load and it doesn't seem to change much until all of your carbs are gone. Then it increases drastically to nearly 50 to 60 grams an hour. Fiber and sugars are both carbs, so you'll find those burn relatively quickly. Finally, saturated fat burns the lowest at less than 1 gram an hour with carbs in your body. Without carbs, this burns at 8 to 9 grams an hour. Your body can hold only a specific amount of each of these in grams, except for protein, carbs, and fats. If you have too much food in your intestines and stomach that contain saturated fats, sugars, fibers, and fat, you won't digest the food. You can actually starve yourself of calorie deficiency simply by having it all sitting in your intestines. Don't eat too much fat. As you can tell, it's the slowest burning energy source, meaning it's going to take the longest to digest. Now that we've talked a little bit about what carbs, protein, and fat are used for, how can we manage these? Well, with Scum's new food system, it makes it relatively easy to cook things that fit your specific dietary needs. If we look into the cooking section and look at pancakes, pancakes are an extremely good source of carbohydrates. You can still add the sugar and the butter, but just don't add the oil. Oil has an extremely high amount of fat and saturated fats, which is not good for you. If you want to add the butter, the walnut, and the sugar, you'll still get lots of carbs with not too much fat. Bread, as you can see here with animal fat, has a ridiculously high amount of fats. This was an 8x8 perfectly cooked bread. It has 1108 calories per use, which means that the loaf of bread is around 8800 calories. The amount of proteins you get Per use is about 16 grams and the carbs are around 115 grams but let's break that down to carbs because carbs as i said before are sugars and fiber as well as other carbs you'll get around 25 grams of sugar per use 3 grams of fiber and 87 grams of other carbs but this one is not good because you get 24.9 grams of saturated fat and 40 grams of fat which is too much fat per use if you make bread with no animal fat You'll get 7 uses, which is 1 less, but if you look at the fat difference, it goes from 64 grams to 3.4 grams. But the carbohydrates still stay relatively high, because there is one less use. You get a little bit more carbs. Protein goes up a little bit as well per use, but remember, there's one less use. So with the extra carbs from the bread, you're going to balance out those carbohydrates quite nicely. And with low amounts of fat, you don't have to worry about fat that much. But if you make the bread into a burger, since you are only using one slice of bread, you don't get that many carbs, but you still get a lot of fat. But the bread itself is not that bad of a ratio. Remember, your protein burns about two to three times as fast as fats with carbohydrates in your system. So you can have two to three times as much protein as fat. Carbs burn probably 30 times faster than fats, so you're gonna want a lot more carbs than fats. That's why eating plain bread is great. That right there is a perfect amount to keep yourself going. A couple of slices of bread and some meat. You can even eat the bear meat, which has a really high amount of fat in it. Or you can eat something a little leaner and moderate the amount of fat you get from other sources. 
You could also eat nuts, drink milk, and do other things to keep your fat intake up, but low in saturated fats. That's the one thing that's gonna be most of a pain to burn. Remember, if your stomach is full of fat and you have all fat in your stomach and intestines, you won't gain any calories, meaning your character can actually starve to death while being completely full. I would suggest since it's very easy to do, you don't need any pans, you don't need any cooking equipment besides finding an oven with a fuel source. For an oven to work, you don't need a gas tank. People have told me this, you don't need it. Walk away, put it down over here, we're going to show you that the range of the gas tank doesn't hit the oven, but we can still walk up to the oven to use it because the oven only needs electricity. So to bake bread, you don't need any gas, you just need a small generator. And remember, don't add the animal fat, add the sugar and the salt, and this is what it will look like. High carbs, decent proteins, low fat, perfect bread. That's why I suggest making bread, because you don't need anything. You don't need a pot, you don't need a pan. It's very simple. You just need to find a prefab, have a little generator, and it'll work perfectly fine. Turn it on, cook your bread, walk away. Then go make a skewer for the barbecue and make some nice meat skewers up that will have decent protein and a little bit of fat in it. Like a bear skewer would be perfect. It will balance out the missing fat from the bread and it will still have double the protein to fat ratio, meaning your macronutrients will look great. You won't have to have, you won't have too much fat and you'll have the perfect amount of protein and perfect amount of carbs and your character will be healthy. We're not going to show you how to find fiber or sugars or how to moderate those things because you can do that relatively easily by just eating fruits you find along the way, produce from your garden like potatoes, corn, and other things. But for this video, it's just to do something really simple, really easy, get your carbs from your bread, get your protein from your meat, and you'll get fats from both of those. That's your main energy source. I've gone ahead and shown everyone in my last video the kind of ingredients you get from carbs, fiber, and sugars from fruit and vegetables. That's in my baking video and my barbecue video. So if you haven't checked them out, there will be a link above. There's also a spreadsheet that shows what vegetables give and what fruit give. I also have one for meat as well. It's in the description of the video. So if you add some potatoes and some corn, you can eat these raw or make a vegetable skewer with them and keep your bread and your red meat close to you. You'll have a perfect balance of protein, fat, and carbs. I know this video, for a lot of you, you probably already knew all this information, right? But for me, it's new information, and I thought that it would be helpful for new members to learn. We're also not going to go through the vitamin system because that's pretty self-explanatory. You hold it and you find the, the right vitamins that work for you with the extra food, uh, fruit, vegetables that you'll be finding along the way. You can also find multivitamin packs all over the, the island and the minerals you're going to just get from the food you eat. The trick is to not eat the exact same meal every time. As much as I've just told you, make bread and meat really simple, you do need to also alternate with other meals every now and then to balance out your minerals if you notice you're losing anything. If you hold control over any mineral or vitamin, it'll tell you the specific thing you should eat to increase that vitamin or mineral. If you notice that your fat's getting too high, make a veggie dish. Don't add the fatty stuff to it. Make it really simple. Get those carbs up. It's the perfect way to do it. All I'm saying is that I recommend bread because it's not expensive to get, it's relatively easy to make, and it doesn't take that much time. And the red meat, anyone can make a skewer. We don't all have pots and pans and a whole kitchen, but we do know where propane cylinders spawn, and if you place it once, it'll be there forever. You can place it in a prefab and walk away for a week and it'll still be there. Use this to your advantage when placing your items. You don't have to have it at your base. Hopefully this video helped you guys out, and if you liked the video, if you could please give it a thumbs up, that would really be nice. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit that subscription button or the subscribe button. I do have more content coming, and I'll be happy to help you guys out in the future. And if you have any comments on things you want to see done on Scum, please shoot them down below. I read all the comments, I respond to all of them. I'd be more than happy to look into it with you because I might want to know the answer as well. There's a lot of things I'm still learning about scum, and I want to keep learning with you guys. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day.